Have you ever met people who are exceptional? People who are distinct. If they walk into a room, there's something amazing about them. There's something. You just can't say it. You can't put words into it. But then there's just something great about them. Today's story is about a guy in the Bible who was distinct. He was exceptional. His name is Daniel. When I mentioned Daniel, probably the lion's den come to your mind. As a kid, I loved, loved this story. I remember my parents would tell me about it and I would just wonder, how did this guy spend some time with lions and he was not eaten, he was not killed? It just blew my mind. Now, as I was thinking about this story, I was just wondering, we know the end. How did Daniel get to that point where he was in lion's den? Now, King Darius had come into power and as just like any other president or ruler, you have to form a government. And so he appointed 120 satraps. Satraps are governors. And over those governors, he appointed three administrators. Daniel was one of those administrators. However, unlike the other administrators, there was something distinct. A different translation says he had an excellent spirit within him that he was appointed to rule over the entire kingdom. Now, I pause here and ask myself, what does it mean to have an excellent spirit? What does it mean to be extinct? I, I have been reading the book of Daniel and in chapter 5, in the previous chapter, it talks about King Belshazzar. He throws a party and as they are partying, as they are drinking, as they are worshipping the gods of the gold, the silver, there's a writing on the wall and there's a hand writing on the wall. And this freaks out King Belshazzar. He freaks out, he calls his magicians, he calls his astrologers, and none of them can be able to interpret what his, his, the writings on the wall are. And so the queen says, and I'm going to read this in chapter 5, verse 11. It says, There is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy gods in him. In the time of your father, he was found to have insight, intelligence, and wisdom like that of God's. And your father, King Nebuchadnezzar, appointed him chief of the magicians, the astrologers, and everybody. He did this because Daniel, whom the king called Belshazzar, was found to have been to have a keen mind and knowledge and understanding, and also the ability to interpret dreams. Now, before the chapter in chapter six, in chapter four, it talks about King Nebuchadnezzar also uh, calling Daniel into the presence, and immediately Daniel got into the presence of King Nebuchadnezzar. He felt that there was something about Daniel. He had the presence. He, had, he, has the, he has the spirit in him. Now it makes me wonder, what does it mean as a child of God to just be a person of distinct, to have the spirit in you? Remember, Daniel is, is, is during the time when the children of God are in exile. Before Prophet Jeremiah tells the children of Israel in exile, seek the welfare of that place be able to live in exile but also be able to seek the best pray for the kings pray pray for the, the the place that you are in in exile where god has put you now it's also interesting to learn that daniel is serving the king he's loyal to the king he's not in his home he's in exile and also he's very distinct his work ethic is very good the, the colleagues tried to find corruption. They tried to find something to pin him down, but they couldn't find. Instead, they found him praying. And because of that, he was thrown into the lion's den. It makes me wonder, as children of God, are we distinct in everything that we do? In our workplace, are we standing out as people who are exceptional? As people who have the spirit in us? To the point where when we get into a room, people are able to say there's something about that person. There's something about the way they love. There's something about the way they speak life. In current political atmosphere, are we as Christians people who bring life into spaces? Are we people who build and not tear down? These are very critical questions that I ask myself. And so I invite you as a child of God uh, to just walk in that. To go into spaces and love people just like Jesus did. To be exceptional in the work you do. To be excellent in what you do. In such a way that when people see you, 
they will say there's something about me. 